We've all seen the commercials. A person adds a little sea foam to their engine and all of a sudden the engine begins to smoke like it's about to blow. So today's video project idea comes from at least four to 500 people who've asked me to run pure sea foam through an engine to see what will happen. Will the engine even run? If it does run, is it going to super clean it or is it gonna cause a lot of carbon buildup inside the combustion chamber? I don't know what's gonna happen, but this is a pretty crazy idea and I'm ready to see what's gonna happen. So let's go ahead and get this project underway. So this is the MSDS directly off of the Seafoam website. It says there's less than 95% of a hydrocarbon blend. So it's very difficult to tell what this consists of. There are a lot of different chemicals that are considered hydrocarbons. Also less than 25% isopropanol. In order to determine if Seafoam will burn, I always like to look at the properties of the fuel itself. So when comparing Seafoam to gasoline and diesel, obviously gasoline burns very well inside of a gas engine and diesel burns poorly. To me, seafoam seems a lot more like diesel than it does gasoline. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the seafoam. I don't want to use a whole container inside of a lawnmower. I'm just going to use half the can or 8 ounces. This yellow line marks where the 8 ounce mark is at in this jar. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the seafoam until I get to that line. I'm going to go ahead and add the seafoam to the see-through fuel tank. This carburetor does not have an adjustable jet, so in case I have a difficult time getting this to run, if I need choke it, I went ahead and installed a piece of metal on the carburetor that can draw in more fuel and basically uh, work around having the wrong size jet. This will force more seafoam into the engine. I was able to get this engine run off a of seafoam, but just look at how much of this carburetor is covered by this piece of sheet metal. And this engine used a lot of fuel very quickly. It burned the seafoam extremely rapidly. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see the inside of this engine.
an engine running on 100% seafoam. I'm really surprised that actually worked. But uh, hey, I'm not sponsored by seafoam or any manufacturer. I don't even have links and I don't even comment on the price per can or where I buy it from typically because I'm not trying to sell a product. All I'm trying to do is perform an independent review of each of these products. I've had many opportunities to make money from these manufacturers and I've turned them all down. I'm not interested in having a supervisor or a boss or politics or top-down pressure. I'm trying to get away from that in life and I really enjoy what I do here on the Project Farm channel. But hey, if you really enjoy these videos, I hope you'll like, share, subscribe. Also, this video project came idea came from about four to five hundred different people. So I really do spend a lot of time reading and replying to your comments, and I'm taking notes on the ideas that you guys have. So please keep those ideas coming. Until next time, please take care, and I look forward to seeing you then.